All right, well, it looks like we have entered a tournament, but this tournament I'm actually not participating in. As you can see right here, it's basically a bunch of NPCs fighting each other, and, uh, well, oh dear, that does not seem to be working out too well. Yes, so it is, as you can see, the Five Tiger Tournament, and uh, then we have the Five Tigers of Zhao versus the Five Tigers of somewhere else, and we are obviously going to be having... Oh, here we go, this is my turn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a random event. I was literally just waiting around, and this is a random event that is happening. And I am not entirely sure if I will be able to be uh, victorious here, but I will try. <laughs> oh, wow, this guy's got some big maces. All right, I've got to be a bit careful here then. Okay, let's be a bit, a bit cautious. I only have 10 arrows. Oh, nice. I did some damage. Nice. Okay, very good. Maybe I can do a little bit more. Yes. Lower your sh lower your shield, please. Ah, unlucky, unlucky. Okay. Well, it seems like I'm gonna have to get out my moon sword, and then see what I can do. Maybe, maybe I I don't even know whether he has increased HP or whatever the case may be, but I, would, I guess I'm just going to have to try my hardest to survive. Twenty seven damage. That is not a lot for a legendary weapon. Thirty six. Okay, that's pretty good. We're do also doing some extra damage here and there, which I suppose is decent. Oh, fifty six. Yes, that is what I like to see. Unfortunately, obviously, these swords do not have the greatest reach, so they are going to be a little bit more difficult to use in close quarters combat. But hopefully, it is going to reward us in the end. Ah, there we go. Okay, go back to the flag to stand by. That is exactly what I will do. There we go. I am back here. All right. So now, what do I do now? I guess I wait. Uh, yes, I wait for the next. Okay, so I've eliminated one of the enemy, at least, and we've also lost one of ours. So let's see what happens now. This is round three. I don't know whether it's going to be me again. No, no, it's going to be someone else. Okay, so let's see what happens. This is actually really interesting, in my opinion. I think these kinds of situations where the AI is fighting another AI. I think they're really, really fascinating. And I know I've talked about this before, where I was speaking about how, you know, some people have... Oh, was that was that ours that won or lost? Oh, no, our guy... Oh, wow, our guy lost. Okay, anyway, I've talked about this before where people have gone into, like, Civilization Five, and they've just basically chucked a whole bunch of AI into... A game together and then just seen which one is capable of winning and uh, you know in my opinion that's really really intriguing and uh, a pretty interesting thing to, to watch but point is let's hope that this guy is able to do something he has a massive shield so he should have an advantage against the opponent who doesn't seem to have a shield I'm not entirely sure about that just at the moment so I suppose we'll find out wow this guy is not very good at, at controlling his <gasps> I think, I think he did it. Yes, he did it with his thrown weapon. He was actually able to eliminate the opponent. Very, very close though, because she was extremely, extremely, well, near to getting a one-hit kill with her wonderful lance. So, okay, now, round five. Let's see who is going to achieve victory once and for all. Oh, the enemy is not actually even on a horse. Okay, this guy should win. Theoretically, the guy on the horse should win because he has a crossbow. He should be able to use the crossbow to shoot the guy because the guy doesn't seem to have a shield. But he doesn't seem to be he doesn't seem to be aiming that much, does he? Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. He murdered him. Okay, so that is 3 to 2. So, yep. We won. We won. Okay. That is really really cool. I actually wonder what we get for this because I have no idea. This has never happened to me before. So let's see. Your team won the Tournament of China. Your next opponent is Five Tiger of Jin in the semi-finals. Oh, wow. Okay, so you can see here, this is exactly what's going on here. This is my hero, the faction, and the team, and so on and so forth. And uh, we're just going to continue, uh, continue onward, I suppose. Right. This is very interesting indeed. I, as I say, I've never had this happen before. I'm, I'm wondering whether this is a new feature in this version 
of 108 heroes because I know that there is a random event sort of super smash mode thing which is very fun don't get me wrong but it's it's not you know sort of like classic AI one versus one action it's literally uh, more of a free-for-all melee kind of thing I mean obviously you would think that because it is a you know super smash mode but uh, yeah I think this is really cool and I am Oh yeah, this guy is the one with the gun, isn't he? I'm kind of a bit worried about this because oh, he he might he might be able to he might be able to do something. The enemy doesn't have a shield, guy. You can shoot him. You can shoot him really easily. I'm actually unsure why he's not shooting him. There we go. Why are you spinning around? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. You can tell I'd be a very good commentator for esports, wouldn't you? You know, some. Pl yes, he got murdered again by the same guy, just literally because he got himself stuck in a corner somewhere. That really did not work out too well, did it? Heaven shaking thunder. Ah, oh well, never mind. Uh, I guess we are going to continue to uh, take take on this guy in, in round two. Now, obviously, my, my rounds take a lot longer because I am not exactly great at uh, attacking the enemy. But let's see what he's capable of. He has a lance. And is that it? If he only has a lance, this is going to be a very easy fight for me. But we'll see. Because obviously if I can eliminate his horse, then I should be able to shoot him and take him out. Oh, I was hoping for a headshot there. Come on, bear wave. You can get a headshot. Or maybe not. Oh, what's he doing? Why is, he, why is he running away? Don't run away. There we go. One more. Let's try for a headshot. Yes! We actually got a headshot. Oh, fantastic. Very good. Okay, so I've got to be a bit careful here because he can kill my horse very easily with this pole arm. And he could probably kill me pretty easily too. But he doesn't seem to do that much damage. No, he doesn't seem to do that much damage. But obviously that was not a piercing attack that he did just there. So it is unlikely that up oh, there we go it's unlikely that i will lose <laughs> and as it is we did achieve a win okay so now we just have to rely on the rest of our teammates because obviously heaven shaking thunder completely let down the side once again and i am not a big fan of that thank you very much i think that that was that was kind of sad to be honest that was a bit sad because i thought to myself you know he's definitely going to win you know he has a gun he has a horse the enemy did not he had a pole arm and no shield so it would have been very easy for heaven shaking thunder to win that but apparently not ooh this guy's got a really nice looking uh, two-handed sword and we'll, oh nice damage look at that we can actually see the damage as well being done oh do some more, do some more damage. Yes, you just need a little bit more, friend. Just a little bit more. Okay, switch to your bow. Yes, that seems like a good idea. Oh no, his his horse has been his his horse has been killed, and now he's going to turn around and he murdered him. Yes, he got him. Good work. Wow, that was I think that was a bit close. I think that was pretty close, but it's nice to see that we are now in the lead. It is two to one so far, and obviously we need to win three out of five. So. It's all on. Uh, I don't even know who, who's on, who's on our team. Is it uh, which which guy's on our team? That guy? Yeah, that guy over there. Okay, yeah, the guy with the the massive shield, obviously. So, this is the guy that has uh, a similar name to us, actually. Amusingly enough, similar but not the same. Okay, come on now. I mean, you you're really good at throwing weapons, so come on, you can get him. Oh, he dealt, wow, 175 damage to his horse, but he might very well get himself murdered now because he is not switching to his melee. He is attempting, oh, my, my camera work is not so good because I'm actually having to use the WASD keys and not the mouse to use the camera and pan it around and things like that. I think our guy is going to lose because he has a polearm in melee and there is no way that standard polearm animations are going to be able to do that much in this situation which is really sad but that's just how it is he he squandered the chance with his horse to get some really good damage on the guy but obviously the enemy does have a decent shield and as a result he wasn't really able to do anything so it is now all on the final person it is all on yan ching i believe is his name 
and uh, we'll see who his opponent is as well. His opponent is Tang Bing. Okay, so ah, uh, I don't really know. Uh, going by banners, Tang Bing has the <laughs> has the advantage, but we'll see. Okay, oh, it's this fellow. Okay, so it's, it's this guy that was not particularly good with his crossbow for the first couple of shots, but then he was m amazing. So we'll see whether. I think he can easily win against this guy. This guy literally has has a pole arm, and our guy has a crossbow and should be able to very easily just shoot him instantly and just headshot him and kill him. Let's see whether he's able to do it. He was not able to do it. And are we now eliminated as a result of that? Oh, that's kind of sad. I would have liked to... Uh, yeah, we lose. Wow, that's actually really sad because I thought that we would definitely win that considering we had two characters that were capable of ranged attacks and your team lost the tournament. Have another try when you are strong enough. Well, it's actually not me that isn't strong enough. It's actually my, my faction that is not strong enough. Oh, well, I guess we'll continue onward now. All right, so I'm deciding to do a normal tournament, and there is very good reason for that. I actually need cash. I need cash, even though I am actually getting a sizable amount per week, thanks to our amazing village. Our village, I know, could, could you believe it? But yeah, our village is actually really, really prosperous, and is doing a very good job in giving me a lot of cash. But unfortunately, it's not giving me enough to be able to level up my mercenary swordsman and things like that because I've basically been running around the entirety well not the entirety of the map because it's way too big for that but a lot of the map I have been running around apart from obviously the song territory because they're still at war with us and I don't really want to get murdered by one of their vassals but the point is is that uh, if I can I would like to be able to start using the specialist uh, specialist units that you can upgrade from hired blades as far as I'm aware uh, hired blades and also mercenary cavalry you can level those guys up for from and uh, I think you can go to the guild master in your town in your factions town one of your factions towns and you can speak to him and then he will allow you to upgrade your royal guards or whatever they're called and I haven't done it yet because I actually want to do it on screen so that you can actually see the process but I am very much looking forward to it because if we can do it it means that we are actually going to be getting some amazing units that are going to help us to achieve hopefully victory in the very many sieges that we could potentially do and in my travels I have come across a number of castles and indeed maybe even I think one town as well that are extremely lightly defended and that means that if I if I am a bit cheeky I might decide to attack a villager band or something along those lines and then we could attack that faction itself and take a town while our faction is not actually at war against them. So we would then have basically a free town, which is, I think, pretty good. You know, that's, that's pretty good, you know. But, uh, yeah, obviously, to do that, I am going to definitely need, definitely need to, uh, <laughs> definitely need to uh, you know, upgrade those units first before we do anything about that. So hopefully I will be able to. We are currently in Han territory, if you did not already guess, because obviously I'm fighting some Han units here. And this is probably the worst weapon they could give me in the final round. I hope that I'll do okay. Oh, this is so slow as well. Wow, this is really slow. Okay, well, it is a massive ball of iron or whatever it is, so I guess I'm not surprised. And I'm going to be very surprised if I actually end up winning this. Because, oh well, I, I, maybe, I, maybe I won't be so surprised because, let's face it, this guy is not really going to be able to get the speed to do a couch lance. And I'm going to be able to, yes, eliminate his horse. Very good. Okay, so now all I need to do is a nice couch lance here. Oh, are you serious? He was able to, he was able to murder me like that? That's not very nice of you, sir. Okay, he's, he's going to be, he's going to be dying now. Just watch. Ah, do you see? Yes, he blocked it. I can't believe it. Oh, well, never mind. I think we should be okay now. Oh, 20. 22. Oh, that's a catch 22 for you. Haha. Uh -huh. Yes, lovely joke. Very good. Okay, so yeah, this. I can't believe it, to be honest. I can't believe that 
he is taking so long to die. But I guess it, maybe he's a special unit, you know? Maybe he's a guy, you know? Maybe he's a lord. That might be the case. You know what? Maybe I should just get off my mount and just hit him over the head with this thing in two-handed or something like that. I think I'm actually going to do that because this is just pitiful and absolutely pathetic. So let's do that. Can I actually... Oh, no! It's only thrusts? Ah. Uh... <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm just going to get back on my mount. Oh, I'm going to try and win. Oh, there we go. We finally were able to beat him. And there is just over 8,000. That is nice. 19 renown as well. Very, very good. And we were at Dongjing. So I'm going to continue trying to find these uh, caravan guards and things like that. Oh, yes. Watchmen. Watchmen are very good. So I'm going to get those guys as well. Because Watchmen can actually level up into caravan guards and then into mercenary swordsmen. And then into guardsmen and, and things like that. And then they will eventually get to higher blades. And I have about six higher blades at the moment. They actually level up not too badly when fighting some flowery bandits earlier so eh, we'll see so it is time for another mind reading and this is actually a very important one because if i can do this i have been told by one of you or a couple of you in the comments that this mind reading rewards an extremely powerful item and if i can if i can pull it off then we're going to be in a really good situ oh hello Right. Well, ah. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, that guy's on my side. Oh, it's it's my companion. My companion is here. Oh, okay. Well, this is actually working out quite nicely. Maybe I'll be able to achieve victory here. It seems like we have a pretty decent shot. And it looks like we were able to do it. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm actually really surprised. I thought to myself, we are going to lose like no one's business. But apparently I had my companion in there for some reason. I think the bodyguard uh, thing helped me out. Someone said that it was extremely difficult and I was expecting, well, you know, you know how it is with mind readings. I was expecting me to try it for another 10, 15, 20, 2,000 times. Anyway, let's take a look at the item. All right, so where is the item here? Oh, I think it's the cabbage, isn't it? Uh, there we go. There is the cabbage. So this is a very special cabbage because the speed of consumption is almost equal to the growth rate. It is delicious. Aha. Uh -huh. So, in other words, this is an infinite food item and you can never run out of food, no matter how large your party. And that's at least as far as I am aware. That's at least as far as people have told me. So let's see whether that is actually the case. I think it probably is because these items are extremely good. Now, this guy is actually part of the Liangshan, my old faction from the previous series, and I believe that he actually didn't have this at the time, or at the very least I did, I, I tried to do his, uh, his mind reading and it didn't really work out too well for me. Okay, so here we are at a gold, ma gold master. Oh, I keep seeing these gold lances. I'm like, gold, gold master? Yeah, I, I would like him to be a gold master, but no, he is just a guild master. Anyway, point is, we have these two options right here. They seem to be the same, but that I think is just a typo because these ones actually result in Li Ying lictors, which are, well, they, they come from mercenary cavalry. I actually have five of these, amazingly enough, and it costs 300 as a training fee and five reputation. I can make five of these, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make five of those. It's gonna cost me 1,500. And it is also gonna cost me 25 renown, which I actually don't mind. I don't mind that at all. But what I really wanna get are these Zhang and Li shield guards. They need hired blades. I have 42 hired blades. And I have about, now I think I have about 5,000 cash. So it is going to cost me quite a bit to do this, but I think it is worth it. 3,000 now I have lost, and a grand total of, what is it, 75 renown? So <laughs> my party size is a lot less. Let's take a look at those units. All right, so here, here we go. Wow, okay, these shield guards are absolutely insane. Oh my, wow, my... Oh dear, my weekly wages have gone skyrocketing into the, well, into the stratosphere. And this is not very good. Okay, well, these are great. As you can see, they actually have power throw 7, 
which is pretty insane. With horse archery eight, their power, their what? Their proficiency for throwing is 450. That is amazing. So yeah, these guys obviously are really, really good. Also, I, what I wanna say is that what I'm gonna do, and I'm probably gonna do this off screen so that you don't have to bother with all of these things, but basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to each of the vassals in the Zhao, and I'm gonna try and persuade them by doing tasks and things like that to hopefully join my army as a companion. Because some people have told me that some of the Zhao vassals have special abilities and skills that buff your other units, that buff your mercenary units. For example, the uh, Yi Ling, uh, you know, those guys, and these guys too, so these shield guards. And if we can get those guys in our party, we are going to absolutely murder everything in sight. You can also see that I've actually recruited a whole bunch of companions in the meantime as well. They are not all getting along either, by the way, so that's a bit of a problem, but yeah. We'll see what actually happens with them a little bit later on down the line, but I think for now, I'm going to end this episode off here. I'm going to run around a little bit, try and get a vassal to actually join us. I'm going to go for a chivalrous personality guy and hopefully he's going to have the skill that I'm talking about. I'm actually going to check their skills beforehand as well so we can actually see whether you know whether we can actually make them into something amazing. So yeah hopefully you enjoyed this episode because we did a whole bunch of things and uh, I've actually been playing for a very long time as well in, in real time that is. So yeah hopefully we will uh, yeah we will have a good time in the next episode. I thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.